Hello and welcome everybody and this is a Mark II Escort. <laughs> sounds good doesn't it right the spec let's talk about the car a little bit so on the outside obviously it's two-door shell rs front splitter from factory this probably added an 1100 or 1300 cc engine in it not anymore but we'll get there in a minute we'll, we'll get to we'll get to the source in a sec it's bermuda blue it's lowered on genuine mini light wheels these are 13 by 8 because we get some comments asking about wheel specs and stuff so they're 13 by 8 for your wheel whores out there it's lowered on gas gold coilovers. Believe it or not, even though it looks like this on the floor, looks on the money, it doesn't rub, it drives incredible. So good, obviously I've driven it here, that's why I'm all like, oh, it's like I've had a packet of Skittles, I'm ready to go. <laughs> um, at the back, we've got Quaife half shafts, got Quaife limited slip diff, ATB one to be exact. In the middle, we've got a Cosworth prop, which has been modified to fit this lovely Escort in the middle, uh, well, at the front, nearer the front. We've got a Type 9 five-speed gearbox, which is what you found in the Sierras and stuff like that. And when you're building a Mark 1, Mark 2 Escort and you've got some magical goodness at the front, that's the gearbox you use because it's just, yeah, it's strong, takes a beat in, there's loads of aftermarket parts and it's very, very good. And it's got a sticker here, <sighs> Harris Performance. <laughs> It's not just a sticker, it's, all, it's a weird dream cars, come on, come on. It's got a Harris engine. If you know anything about Fords, Harris are the absolute boys. I've never been lucky enough to drive a Ford with a Harris engine in it. Today is the day, obviously I've driven it here, I've said that already, <laughs> it's very good. So a bit about Harris, they started in the 1930s by, by Ron, Ron Harris. Uh, his nickname was the Conrod Godfather, legend. Uh, he's obviously sad, sadly no longer with us, but a bit about their history. Um, so yeah, they started off putting V8s into, like American V8s into smaller cars. Um, they kind of started this movement in South London. A bit, I'm just going to throw it out there, by, by how I interpret it, they were kind of like the English version of Carroll Shelby, they were putting massive engines in little cars. Um, and from that, they obviously like started this movement of how to modify certain Fords and things like that. And then fast forward to like the 70s, 80s, if, if you were a normal customer and you wanted uh, a fast, reliable car, you went to a Ford, and this is where Ron, the Conrod Godfather, came in. So he started messing about with the Pinto engine, in particular, that's what this has got in it, um, and was out of nowhere getting a lot of power out of these engines. So this is a two litre, it's slightly bigger than that now, it's like a 2050. Um, so this has got uh, different Conrods, obviously, pistons, loads of head work, tubular manifold, throttle bodies, it produces 205 horsepower <laughs> and it revs to 8,500 RPMs. So in the 70s and 80s, I'd go as far as to say that the Harris boys were the kings of South London. Like if you, if you had an Escort or something like this, well, well Ford, you wanted a fast motor, you want a fast motor, <laughs> you got a Harris engine. Nowadays, this engine's worth a lot of money. It's way over 10,000 pounds, way over. Um, and if you've seen any of our videos before, this, this is the recipe to make an incredible Escort. A peppy engine, good gearbox, limited slip diff, good suspension, obviously all the aesthetic stuff, and it's um, an absolute party. But I mean, this, this is a re re review channel, people. It's a review channel. <laughs> What's it like to drive? Are you coming with, Scott?
streets of Mexico. So inside, inside, yeah, we've got kind of like a generic blueprint of how we do these videos now. So let's talk about what the inside's like. In the back, we've got a rear seat delete with a sprinkling of carbon, carbon fiber at the top, which is really cool. So you don't really need back seats and something like this. Recaro seats, they're always comfortable. Pedals and everything, they're slightly off, but it's marked to escort, don't really matter. Steering wheel, could be a little bit cl more closer to me, but it's fine, it's marked to escort. I'm happy with that. Down here we've got a rev counter, obviously, like we said earlier, this revs to 8,000. 500 rpm <laughs> which is very strong a gearbox and everything obviously we said it's a type 9 sierra derived gearbox it's got a short shift on it as well so it's like butter the clutch that's still on a cable and i'm really impressed with it it's really direct i've got loads of feedback from it usually on a cable driven clutch it feels like uh, like like it's stretching um, but yeah it's, it's really nice really direct again loads of feedback braking wise the brake pedals very positive as well feels really good um, at the back we still got drums but at the front we've got high spec four pot brakes which are some big old stoppers on the front we've got Nankang tyres, on the back we've got Yokohama Advance. Um, the Gaz coilovers, they're the go-to go Ford coilover. They're just set, set up really nice. It's comfortable, isn't it? You're comfortable, Scott? Yeah. All right, all right there in your little Recaro? <laughs> yeah. What you can't see off camera is uh, Scott's actually sat in one of those baby Recaros. He's actually really short. You haven't seen Scott, but he's... He's a munchkin. He was actually, you're famous in the borrowers, weren't you? <laughs> no, he's a giant. He's a giant, I'm lying. But yeah, the steering feel, throttle feel as well, considering it's on throttle bodies, is perfect. Like all your, all your little blips between gears and everything, it's, everything's just great. Generally, like, obviously, you get to drive a lot of cars. Um, it's just my job. But you gain over the years you gain like a knowledge and feel when you get into a car of how well it's been built and this is up there it's been built really well like the attention to detail obviously you've got all the extra gauges and stuff it's kind of a cross between rally and road car so obviously no we haven't got uh, a roll cage or anything like that but your ignition fuel pumps start button all of that's done on switches rather than a key it's just a bit more simplified and it's just that perfect balance between the two so you get out the end of it you get a, a fast road car but how fast is it Scott how fast Ugh. drop it down a gear Scott I'm gonna go another one Harris know what they're doing, Scott. It's such, it's such a good engine. It's so good. I, I, as I've said earlier, I've never driven a Harris engine, but they are famous for a reason. This thing is brilliant. It's got quite a bit of torque as well. I think it's like 190 foot pounds, something like that which is near enough symmetrical to what power it is, 205 horsepower. So generally when you get that from an engine, it makes it really nice to drive. Like it's just very linear, the power comes in all the way through, same with the torque and it's just like, today I feel extremely lucky, very, very lucky. These are, yeah, Harris have got a name for good reason and I'm finding it out today. And this is definitely, I sound like I'm gushing again, don't I? But this is definitely a bucket list thing today.
Just like that, everybody, we are back and it's time for the scores. Obviously, it's a review, we've got to do some scores, haven't we? Now, where should we start? Um, appearance. This is very high, nine out of 10. For me, if you have an Escort Mark II, you've either got to go full rally, put boxer arches on it and all those good things, or you go for the South London look, which is this, decked on the floor, mini lights, wide wheels <laughs> to be exact. And I think it's just, it's so simple, like realistically on the outside, the only difference is it's obviously de-chromed, got an RS um, <coughs> front splitter. But other than that, the body's just as is. The Bermuda blue looks insane. Hopefully, well, I'm sure the camera's picking it up. Scott's very good at his job, isn't he? Come on. Um, it just looks, it looks insane. It, it's so good. It, like it's a poster car. It's unreal. So yeah, nine out of 10 for appearance. Next up, we have usability. This is a bit lower. <clears throat> and we'll get into that, the clues in that, I guess. <laughs> seven out of ten um it is very low there's no shine away from that i mean on roads like this it's absolutely fine main roads fine but if you wanted to go down some lanes and stuff like that i think you wouldn't be able to use it to its potential you'd be you'd be going slow because obviously you'd have to negotiate some obstacles especially sleeping policemen uh speed bumps if you want to get over one of them obviously you need to go at a bit of an angle so yeah there's no there's no shine away from that we've got to be really realistic it is low um another thing as well it hasn't got a cooling fan inside um while we while we were out the heats came and it got quite hot in there but there's nothing to cool you down other than the windows um that's only being pedantic but if if you did want to use it every day, that's things you've got to look at. So yeah, seven out of 10. Um, driving experience. Incredible, incredible. It's between an eight and a nine out of 10. Um, reason, I'll go for eight. The only reason it's going to be a little bit lower is because it was boiling. <laughs> I got quite warm, um, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, but what makes up for all of that is this. This engine is insane. I, it's so good. I was, when we was doing some drive-bys and stuff and Scott was out the car, I was describing it. It's like one of those backstreet boxers who like trains under a bridge, you know, like fight club style. And the more you poke it, the more you wind it up, the more it loves it. Like the further up the rev range, it's just absolutely on song and you cannot help but smile from ear to ear. It's incredible. The sound of it is incredible. How the power comes in, it's like, bap! Like, it's so quick, responsive. And yeah, thank you, Ron Harris. You're a legend. Thank you for everything, your legacy. Um, and thank your sons as well, obviously carrying on your, um, HPE they're called now, uh, like you, you are gods. Thank you very much. And I feel extremely, extremely, extremely privileged for being able to drive one of these and finally experience this engine. Uh, it's just incredible. It's like, I'm trying not to swear and try not to get too rousty, but it's just, yeah. If you ever get a chance to drive one, drive it. It's nuts. Like the hype is real i think it's even beyond the hype like it is absolutely phenomenal so value this is quite hard to gauge so a mark ii escort with a harris engine doesn't come up for sale but a mark ii escort with a hot engine in and like the right parts the right look and everything you're looking between 30 and 40 grand So with a Harris engine in, is it more than that? I don't know, but I've got nothing to compare it against. So I think I know what we paid for it. And that was around that mark, maybe a little bit more. Um, and value wise, that's a nine out of 10. I think to have something, it's historic now, I'd say. Um, like the whole movement that these boys started, 
uh, and that whole scene back in the day, like this was that scene. Like I've always thought of the Mark II Escort with a Harris engine is, is like, I don't know, kind of like, ah, uh, uh, like lock stock, two smoking barrels. Like it's a bit like the grimy side of things. Like it's a bit gangster, like it's cool. And like it's after driving one, it's, effort, it's even more cool. It is incredible. I've had such a good time today. <laughs> it's so bloody good. Uh, my phone's locked. So overall, we're, near, we're between eight and nine out of 10, which is very high. And for good reason, this car is insane. I'm so grateful to Dream Cars for letting me do this, letting Scott do this, letting us do this. Obviously we get some special things in and yeah, it's incredible to let this car pass. <laughs> yeah, so between eight and nine out of 10, I think it's fully worthy of it. And yeah, thank you, Mr. Harris. Thank you, your sons. Thank you, Dream Cars, for letting me drive this. And um, yeah, if there's anything you see, like on our site that you want us to do a review on, anything like that, did you like this video? What's your favorite Escort? Have you ever driven a Harris one? Do you know much about the hype? Yeah, let us know in the comments, like and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And we shall see you again on the next one. And thank you for watching everyone.